beautiful people welcome back to my channel it is your girl erica and you're watching a little bit of erica for those of you who are new here for those of you who are not thank you for returning to my channel your girl is so happy to have you guys back i'm so sorry let me get myself together i wanted to make a video uh i told y'all i wasn't gonna make a video today because today was gonna be the day that me and Corey got to spin together but unfortunately my husband had to stay over at work so I was bored and I was lonely and I decided to go ahead on and make a video and do a future a sex on the beach. <laughs> I should have recorded when I made this, you guys, because um first off, hold on. Let me take these glasses off so y'all can see the look for today. I did pretty and pink. I did not really too much care for the way that it came out, and I did not go back and finish recording when i said i was coming back i'm so, I'm so sorry about that i apologize but uh y'all this is so good um i said earlier that i do work at a bar in a casino and i'm learning how to make different drinks so probably starting in some of my videos i'm gonna start featuring different drinks in my videos they're gonna be the guest of the day so the guest of the day today is sex on the beach with peach schnapps cranberry juice pineapple and orange juice should have been pineapple juice by itself but kroger's got that uh juice that's already combined together the pineapple orange juice and i freaking love it it is so good and a little bit of cherry grenadine with a strawberry on the side when we make them at work we put cherries in them but i thought it looked a lot better with the strawberry so Drop a comment down below and tell me what you guys think about this makeup look. I told y'all I did. The, I tried to do the pretty and pink look. Um, When I was doing it, I did not like the way that it was coming out. I got the mink pink blush on from LA Colors. Um, with different eyeshadow that I showed in the video. Foundation, of course. And uh, did I use anything new? I didn't use anything new today. And, of course, my favorite lip gloss, the lip oil by la colors which i'm almost out of this one and then i lost my well this is it's called up oil but it's it's lip gloss i lost my i'm sorry i'm looking back at Corey. i lost my uh other lip oil that's in my la color the honey bomb one i cannot find anything for the life of me that or one of my um concealer brushes and i'm also missing some um not the pomade but another pencil the black radiance pencil i was talking about in the video i cannot find none of that stuff for the life of me but drop a comment down below and tell me what you guys think i did on my makeup i'm talking in this video there's not going to be really any background music but it is going to be funny because sound funny because i had to speed it up because the video was 40 something minutes long and i'm not trying to put up an hour type video so i sped the video up and I apologize if y'all can't understand everything I'm saying. I'm just rambling as I'm doing my makeup. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. Drop a comment and tell me what you guys think. What's up, y'all? It is your girl, Erica. You watch a little bit of Erica for those of you who are new here. I feel like I have already said this. I know I have already said this. But if you missed it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Drop a comment down below so you girl know that you're here and you care. And share this video if you do care. Um, we're going to do a pretty and pink with sex on the beach i know i said it too but what i mean by it y'all i'm gonna do some pink eyeshadow like this pink look and then um make me a sex on the beach i gotta make up all of my fingers y'all but like, let's get into it because y'all know i've been trying to make some long videos first i'm gonna spray my face with this wet and wild three-in-one primer spazzle dazzle um this is in love with coconut it is coconut scent or just coconut i don't know but anyway it's three-in-one primer water prep set refresh y'all see i just prepped i'm not gonna lie to y'all i didn't use to use primer because i'm not a makeup artist i'm just now still trying to learn how to do makeup i know i need a line don't judge that <laughs> i need my baby to don't line me up but he's been so busy he ever had the time but yeah Rub that in like so. Got that out the way. Now we're gonna go ahead and go into our eyes because they always take long. Because I know I like to do my eyes. Uh, my brows off camera. They're not the best right now, but whatever. I tried. Um, I got my Wet n Wild pencil bag yay because I had been using that black radiance pencil and I can't even find the show with y'all. Show y'all what it look like. But this is a Wet n Wild uh brow pencil. It's called Brow Stencil. I don't like this because it's 
it's not really that dark as you guys can see and it's harder to draw on with but this is kind of what that black radiance comes look like the only difference is it doesn't have the spoolie it has like this part that looks like a little eraser but it's supposed to be easier to do your brows with but it's not for me and lately y'all i don't know what it is my brows have not become as wet as i want them to i hope y'all can see me because i am using the back camera and reason for that being is because i wanted to show y'all all the products i'm going to be using today and i also want to talk about my pcos i am using this clean color rainbow uh rainbow splinter kit right now it says a touch of paradise a touch of paradise is captured in this dazzling beautiful 18 pan eyeshadow you will be all dolled up in seconds with this professional palette with a duo in sponge applicator and that's the sponge applicator this i got from the local hair store here in my hometown and it was like maybe two dollars and some some cent maybe three dollars all together nope it was $1.99 so it was two something <laughs> so yeah y'all know i am pretty on a budget but anyway yeah this is pretty on a budget frame with y'all Let's get into it. We're gonna go off. We're gonna start off with this one. I'm on the second row with this pink right here. As y'all can see, that's the one that's been used the most. I'm probably gonna do pink and white or pink, pink and purple. You don't wanna do pink and purple? Pink and purple is pretty. Let's stick with pink and white. I really didn't want to do too much of the pink and white because uh that's more of a Valentine's Day color to me. And I'm not trying to be super Valentine. -y. So you know what? Let's do pink. Let's go in with a little bit of purple. Not a lot. This is the cherry fantasy uh eyeshadow kit that I was showing y'all. I can't really read the back off because like I told y'all, I'm gonna hit this thing for over over two years but it still does in the last video i told y'all i couldn't tell y'all how much it costs but you kind of can see the little person it says $1.99 and this came from the city trans here in my town like i said cherry fence we're gonna go in with this purple right here we're not gonna hit it too hard because that purple is very high pigment so yeah we're just gonna go in with that little purple like i said i'm pretty on budget i do have the tape on my eyes you guys because i want that clean cut right there so we're not gonna we're not gonna put any more product on it because i'm gonna get pink into this so i don't want it to be that i don't want the purple to pop pop i don't want it to be main focus i want the pink to be main focus but uh yeah, I'm using the back camera because I want to talk about my PCOS real quickly and doing makeup with PCOS. One of the hardest things about PCOS is it's embarrassing because you all can see I have hair right here and I have hair right here and hair under here. And yes, I don't shave. I don't shave because I don't want the razor bumps in there and I tend to get them on still, as you guys can see. But uh, it is embarrassing sometimes and it gets you the confidence down low. But I use, and I wish I had it beside me, but it's in the bathroom. I use the Nair. Not the Nair, lady body removal. Don't ever use that on your face there. Let me, let me be the warning of the structure because I have been there and when I tell y'all, woo. That shit burn. That shit burn. Like I had a scar right here once before because I used this stuff on my face, and then I had like a little look like I had hurts. Like not trying to be funny, but I had like a little scar right here. It looked so nasty because I used it down there on my skin. It was burning your skin. If you use that shit on your face, if you do use it on your face. I don't recommend to use the body on your face, but they do have. This is the color, but they have a, a hair cream remover for your face. It's about in this size of a body. It's about a little bit short about right there, and it's a face remover. It's a face hair remover cream for your face. That's what it says on it. I wish I had the bottle beside me. I showed it to you guys, but it's in the bathroom. I don't feel like that again. But yes. I don't really know price, so it's like four dollars and something. I got it from Walmart. It's about the same price as one that you use on your legs. But again, don't ever use the one that says legs and body on your face. Because y'all, when I tell y'all, I can talk and my loop like this because this shit burns so bad. But yes, so let's start again with the purple. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to be quick and talk about it. But yes, it can be a little discouraging when you're doing makeup and you have PCOS because it kind of gets a little hard. But if you use the right products, like um cocoa, coconut oil, and you, if you do decide to shave, put some coconut oil on your face and shave it and it makes your skin so soft, then nair makes your skin soft. I need to go in with my nair and um get that. But for the sake of this video, I didn't because I wanted to show you guys what I was talking about. I can't do two things on y'all. I'm not gonna multitask. I'm just not. I'm with purple. Like I said, I don't want the purple to be the main focus of my eyes. So I'm not gonna expand it too far, but I am gonna tap it over, bring it over that way. I'm not gonna put any more product on there. I might have to put a little bit more for this side, but I'm not gonna put any more on that side. I'm just gonna tap it in. Slightly bring it over. I'm gonna have to use a little bit more product for this one. Just a little bit. But I'm not trying to make it. Like I said, I don't want this purple to be main focus. But yeah, that was my little saying about the PCOS because I know I had brought it up in my last video, but I didn't really go into depth of it. And if you do have PCOS, you know, I said, don't get discouraged by it because God has found an answer. If, ever, if you ever been to the doctor and doctor you can't have kids, you're going to have to deal with it for the rest of your life. Don't let it discourage you because if you're doing everything to manage your PCOS, more likely you will have a baby. More likely you will lose that weight. More likely you will take care of the hair and stuff that's on your face. Get rid of the dark spots. That's another thing I have a dark spot because of PCOS and it's also on my neck. But if you're doing everything that you're supposed to manage, girl, you'll be okay. I thought about doing a cut crease today, y'all, but I probably won't do it. Them damn things. Nice. Sorry if it takes a while to be in all this. Yeah, I'm skin. See, don't spray it. <laughs> I got the head of it too, y'all. Sorry. But yeah. So, okay. Now we're going to go into that uh, clean rainbow kit that I was just saying. Into that pink that I showed y'all. And we're going to go in with this. With the same brush. I'm going to switch the brush over here. And we're going to bring that in like so. See, this is kind of wild. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just patting this on. You know, I'm just patting this on like this. I'm just patting it on like so. So, we're going to stay. Going into the spots. I really be feeling like the permanent pink together with like you know, That's why I ain't going to use it. Let me try to get on something else. That's one of my pet peeves right there. When I have a vision in my head of how I want to make it come out of the loop, it's going to come out. It's going to come back. I hate when people want to break it. I can't talk about it too much because I used to talk about the ones that I used to talk about a lot. And when I realized that I was doing it, I really had to work on stop doing it. And stop doing it. What's one of y'all pet peeves? Drop coming down the line. What's a pet peeve for y'all? I'm for real. I'm a dragon. Bother me. Like, man. And I had to think about it. Like, I used to do that shit. And you see how irritating it is? And then you when somebody do something, like y'all know somebody do something and you realize you just do the same thing, you be like, damn, you're like, you're just a dick. Look at it, they sound that stupid or sound like an asshole. Because to me, humble braggers sound like assholes, man. And it is aggravating. I'm, I'm random, y'all. I'll be on all types of subjects, but 
I was saying that it's a pet peeve of mine when my makeup don't come on the way that I have envisioned it. And then I said that and humble bragging. So just in case y'all mixed it and y'all wonder how I got into that conversation. That was a little recap. But for real, humble bragging sucks. Like, oh, I hate that. Somebody didn't talk too much. And I don't mean talk too much. Like, I talk a lot. I mean talk too much. Like, you tell them something and they go back and tell somebody else and tell somebody else and tell somebody else and tell somebody else and then switch up stuff. I hate that. So humble bragging is probably the first one. I got a lot of little pet peeves, but there's one of them. Especially when you know, like, you know, telling me that you got a new job and you know, Let's say for instance, okay, Erica, I just got a new job and I'm gonna be making more money. That's cool. But then when you go, I got a new job, I'm VP, and I this dad, I'm gonna get this car, and I'm this dad, blah 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 blah. Then you go post it on Facebook, on Instagram, just to get people to react to it. And then like if they say congratulations to you, you go in even more like, girl, yes, thank you for the congratulations. But girl, let me tell you about how this is gonna work. I'm gonna be doing this. I'm gonna be in this office. I'm gonna be in this corner office with a view and blah 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 blah. Like that shit is like, oh, can you please not do that? And I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm telling y'all, I used to be a humble bragger. Like I would sit here and tell somebody something. And I was just telling about five, six, seven times. Like when me and Corey first got together, I used to say talking about Corey to my friends. And I know they hated it. Like, this bitch just shut up. Don't let her hear about her damn husband. But yes. And I'll be trying not to do that now because I know I tend to get on here and say stuff because I really hate seeing my husband. But I tend to do that. Okay, so that's that. That's the part of the piece. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to blend it together. I'm going to come in with a white. I'm not going to do a cut piece, but I might go back in with my uh, concealer to make the white pop in a bit more. So right now, what I'm going to do is try to blend this out. I might have to get the purple back. Let's see how it should work out. But yeah, like I said, humble bragging is something that just everybody say about me. Y'all, I'm gonna try to put some music into the background of this, but it might be scared though, because I don't know how long it's gonna take to do this. It's really gonna take you as long as I thought, because I'm gonna put that down with the eye. And then we I can't wait till I really learn how to really, really do my makeup. And be like, now that's when the bitch is on humble bragging. <laughs> that's when I'm on humble bragging, because I'm like, yes, bitches, look at my makeup. <laughs> Yes, cause I am. I cannot wait till I really learn. And I be thinking I be doing bad, but some people tell me that I look okay. And some people like you good, but my mind I be thinking I'm doing bad. That's just how my anxiety works. I think I've been saying things before, but my anxiety come on me. And be like, just cause that person said you did good, I really mean did good. Cause you could use more eyeshadow, or you could scratch up your brows a little bit more, or you need to learn how to get your foundation right. Oh, my anxiety kick my ass sometimes. Excuse me, y'all. This is work. That's one of my guilty pleasures. We talk about guilty pleasures and speaking of, I need to get some. And guilty pleasure and pet peeves. One of my guilty pleasures is Sprite. Forever and always will be my favorite type of soda. Which I need to stop drinking them for real though. And chocolate. Pet peeves. Humble bragging. Hearing a fly. Being around a fly. I hate flies. They are so aggravating. Ugh. When my makeup don't come out the way that I want it to. I got a lot of pet peeves though. So we can't even get started. But y'all drop, drop a comment down below and tell me what y'all pet peeves is. Or what's one of y'all guilty pleasures. I'm going back in with my concealer. This is Pro. Pro girl. Pro girl. I don't want to say pro girl. LA girl concealer. Pro concealer. And this is in the color natural. This is the brightest one I have, other than the Maybelline, um, the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. But it's not as bright. It's not the bright, bright one that I like to use on my eyes. It is in the color Cornel, and it's 40. I think this one is, yeah, 40. So, but it's not the bright, but I am going to use it on my face in a second. Let me find my brush. Where's the brush? Where's the brush, brush, brush? This is my, one of my concealer brushes right here. This is really the brush that I use when I call myself trying to do a clay crease. I will use this brush. And I'm not going to really just do a clay crease because I don't feel like doing all that now. I already kind of missed this little spot right here. But if I was gonna do a cut crease, I would bring it up here and over. I'm not. I'm just gonna tackle it with probably a little bit of white. I'm really not even really just feeling this color like that. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it to where I can feel it. Cause y'all, let me tell y'all what I did. I was already in the process of making this video because I knew I wanted to make this video. I don't know if I'm gonna use the white in here or the white out of there. I think the white out there. It got like a little bit. Of but anyway, I was in the process of making this video and I had got into 30 minutes of footage and I stopped because I did not like where my eyes look. I was going pink and orange and I didn't like it. I kind of don't really like it but I'm not going to stop it because I'm going to come out the way that I want to. But anyway, let's go into the white. Oh no, I could do that's like a whitish silver looking color though. Let's see what this one, let's see if this one come out. I really like doing makeup, y'all. Um, I know when I started this channel, I was talking about my weight and my PCOS, and I am still trying to lose weight. And I do still do everything that I need to do to manage my PCOS. I just haven't brought it up in a while. And I do apologize for that. Those of you who are watching me through that, I will apologize for that. Um, I do still buy fruits and vegetables and stuff that I need to eat to do my PCOS stuff. Um, I do still make some movies here and there. I just really found something that I really, really like doing that has become a hobby to me. And it also helps me from wanting to eat all day. And that is doing makeup. And I really want to not just become a perfectionist in it, but I really want to get better at it. And that's why most of my videos have been about me doing makeup. And I'm sorry if you have a problem with that. But I did say in one of my videos way before I started to do makeup that this channel is going to be versatile. Lately, it hasn't been because it's been about beauty, but that's because your girl is really trying with the makeup. Okay. I don't know if I like that. It probably looks a lot better when I get my foundation and all this stuff popping. And then I'm going to go back over. And once I get the lashes and, you know, the eyeliner and shit together, it'll probably look a lot better. So we're going to get ready to go in with the foundation and stuff. First, I'm going to, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have to go fix them. I'm going to pull this tape off. 
<laughs> I'm gonna have to fix the corner up. The reason why I did the tape is because I really, like I said, I, I really did this video, but I didn't like it. I wanted it to have that precise look to it. So yeah, but now we're gonna go in with the, uh, let's get out of concealer. I'm not gonna do the chisel thing today. I don't, it's not working out too far with me, but y'all know I have to, um, I don't have to, but I need to start doing this so I can continue to practice. Cause I'm telling y'all, once I get to the point where I feel like I'm a bad bitch at this, and I'm sorry if I feel anybody saying that. Uh, I got the habit of doing that. But that's when I'm having my little humble brag moment. My pet peeve, I'm gonna do it myself when I feel like I'm really done perfected doing makeup. So let's go in under the eyes with the concealer. And I should've used corn for this. I like for my eyes to be bright right there. Right there. This is Cafe. And I, I know y'all probably tired of me putting all this stuff in the description box, but I try to put everything that I use just in case. You know, somebody can click on one video and ain't watching none of my other ones. They can know all the products that I have in I used the back side, like I said, I like to use all the product on there. And then I'll come in and I'll do this. Y'all, I kind of already have high cheekbones. <laughs> so I don't really do too much with them, but I kind of come in. I don't follow because I'm not a makeup artist. What the hell do I'm still trying to learn? I just be watching YouTube videos and trying to pick up with some of these beautiful makeup ass artists. I said it down. Beautiful ass makeup artists. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna come in with my concealer going through here. Oh, and the ray of sunshine, I forgot about that. Get it up in there. And I know I need a line of so bad. That's how you do ray of sunshine, but that's how I do it. <sighs> Y'all. Well, what I was talking about earlier when I was in the car is I kind of I, I like my job. Don't get me wrong. I do not always like having to be off on a Monday. I wish I could have like a Saturday off, but you know, working at the casino, Saturdays and Fridays are really demanding, very demanding. And then I haven't even been there that long. I've been there about a month now. So, you know, of course, all people that's already been there, they have seniority over certain things. And it kind of bothers me that I have to work my birthday, but I didn't have anything planned for my birthday. I'm not going to put that on the bridge of my nose. I'm going to put it on the bridge of my nose because I'm going to highlight right there. But uh, I really didn't have too much planned for my birthday because my birthday falls on Wednesday. My birthday is on the 12th. But I was expecting to have that Sunday off. And I was going to just either barbecue or... Cause that's usually the type of shit I like to do. Like I like to cook. Like today, once I get done with this makeup, I'm gonna make my six on the beach, and then I'm gonna cook me some fish, some hush puppies, um, probably some onion rings, and I'm gonna do some waffle fries. I just got chills, y'all. Just a little bad thing. So I'm gonna go in with the uh, coconut 355 Fit Me Foundation. Um, I'm gonna use my brush today. I used to blend my beauty blender in the last video. I'm gonna use brush today. But yeah, um, so yeah, that's, that was the only thing that's kind of been bothering me. But I did tell for you know, I just make it back up in June. You know, June is not my birthday month. But I'll we'll figure out some way to see if I can take off on a Saturday and then just get back like we usually do. I feel like I want to before I do that. I'm sorry, y'all. I had put that tape over a little bit too far. And now I'm just about to miss up the precise bit that I had right there. But oh well, I'm gonna fix it. I promise y'all. I'm gonna stop sneezing. But let's go in. Cold conceal, I mean, cold foundation. Let's paint this on. But yeah. But okay, I didn't really have anything planned for my birthday, but you know, I find something to do in June. And the reason why I say June is because they always post out schedules two weeks in advance. And my manager, he be on it, so I'm pretty sure he already got paid to me for the rest of the month of May that he wanted to work. So. And then I feel like I'm getting more than enough time to look at the schedule and look at everything to see. Okay, she can be off this weekend. Okay, she can be off the weekend that she gets to work, which is not being any problem. I try, to, I, you know, I try to be in consideration of uh, everybody's life. Everybody has a life, and I do understand that, and I do understand that stuff happens. Like last night, I end up having to um, get behind the bar and be the bartender. So, you know, stuff happens, and you know, I understand it. And like I said, everybody has a life, and everybody has a life that they want to live. And then on top of that, the summertime is rolling around, so I know how that go too. But I'm not going to just not spend time with my loved ones in order to just make sure everybody else gets their time. No. I mean, I'm nice to this but at the same time, you ain't going to work me or over you this week. That's why I can't wait to God, you know, bless me to be my own boss. That's a, that's a dream of mine, is to be my own boss before I'm off this earth. And y'all gonna help me get there, because I love y'all. And I appreciate y'all for watching these videos, even though I know they're not the best. See, look. <laughs> look what I just did to my eyebrow. But I'm going to fix that. I'm going to push it back in my hairline, because I am going to put a wig on. I like using this brush, but the beauty blender, sometimes, it works better because the brush is a little too thick, and I'm, I'm not... At this stage yet to where i can do everything without it messing up but i will go back over and fix everything i feel like though i don't got a lot more i'm trying to tear up i feel like i don't got a lot more confident and comfortable with doing my makeup on camera because two years ago not even two years ago a few months ago y'all would never never give me to do this 
a few months ago, I wanted to talk to you like real makeup. I used to be one of those. Um, I don't need makeup until I, you know, use it. And I see that makeup is not because you need it. Makeup gives you an extra boost. Makeup makes you feel beautiful. And then if you really like doing it, it like I do, it, it's fun. It's really fun. It's time consuming, but it's really fun. And it's it's just it's different. It's pretty cool. You get to see everything that you didn't think you could do. You know, you get better at it. And I believe I was like that because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And I didn't know what I was doing. I always used to wear eyeshadow, but that was it. But then one day, I was talking to my best friend, and she was telling me how she used to use foundation, and I went to the store, and I had got some, some my very first foundation that I ever got was LA Color. And I tried it, and it, it actually looked right on me, it's just, their foundation broke me out so bad. I was like, I'm going to use it again. No big LA Color, because I know I love them, but their foundation did break me out really bad. And she also came down to Maybelline, she's like, here's the best foundation that I have found to use, and pretty damn good, is Maybelline. So I had went to Walmart, and I just grabbed, the first one that I had grabbed was this, uh, this. Yes, it was this warm coconut, which is 356. And then I was like, that's not right. I went in and went and got latte, which is 358. Still didn't come right. So now I'm trying just regular coconut, which is 355. Um, warm coconut and latte, sometimes they go back with my neck because, like I said, my, bad, my neck is way darker than anything on me because of my uh, PCOS. So sometimes latte or warm coconut will work out better. Now I'm going to uh, get ready to fix these eyes. I feel like it's going to look a lot better once I put the lashes and the eyeliner on, and then I go in and fix it. It's going to look a lot better. But uh, I might try to use black radiance. I'm not going to do the contouring part. This is how this looks because I never showed y'all when I'm using back camera. This is how this looks. It says, whether you are learning to master the basic contouring or advancing your expert skill, the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette offers the perfect palette trio to create stunning def definition. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't read y'all. Scope, shape, and define with these blendable, buildable powders that will leave you with a chisel supermodel feature. Well, features. Features. Y'all know what I'm saying. But, uh, to me, I, I don't know how to do it. I wish I did because I love the way you guys look when y'all do that chisel dizzle. Oh my gosh, y'all be so beautiful. It's a black radiance true complexion contour palette that has an indicator and application guys and gamma, gamma diagram. That's what I get for trying to read out loud. Oh, that's probably why I don't come out right. It says, for best results, start using black radiance. Shine, contour, primer, to prep your face. I don't have any of that though. And they got concealer, foundation, and press powder. Finish your look with your favorite like radiance eye and lip powder. I don't have any of that, but their contour kit. And I also have their uh, brow pencil, so I was talking about. But okay. We're gonna go into the scope in the end. This is how the inside of it looks. It says contour, hairline, size of nose, long cheekbones, jawline, scope, and forehead, brow bone, bridge of nose, cheeks, cheek bow, highlighted as warm to the face, including cheeks, nose, and chin. I'm just gonna do the uh, scope, and I'm just gonna try for the cheeks. Cause I don't know how to do it, but my best friend is one that put me on this to doing this, and I just don't think I. I don't know. We just don't want to talk about like that. Let me get closer to this one right here. Cause I think she's out there. And then it's like one side will fucking come out right. Excuse me, and then I can't get the other side to come out for shit. Like look at this side. It, it's kind of there. It ain't there, but it's kind of there. And then compared to this side, because I guess I went in the wrong way. Whatever. The fact of the matter is for me is that I actually be trying. It'd be different if I didn't try. If I just came on here and just be like, do this, do that. Like, I just know. I don't fucking know. So, yeah. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in on this side. And, um, we're gonna go with circle motions. And then I'm gonna get back on my eyes. And then I'm gonna do a nail in. I'm looking all crazy, y'all. I really like how this side came out. I wish this side would came out like that, too. And I don't have no finishing powder. I do have some powder, though. It's a fit me. Fit me powder. It's matte and portless powder, but this is actually too dark. But whatever. We turn the scope. Okay, I'm tearing up. That's about as good we're gonna get with this open. Y'all, the next thing I'm gonna try to achieve to use is this Master Precise pen. I might try to do a wing, but then again, I don't know. This is by Maybelline too. It's Master Precise all day, and it is in the color. I think it's super black or something. I don't see the name on here. Black. It's just a matte black. And let's have a look. I'm gonna try that. I know I'm gonna uh, hit up my tear ducts and that thing. And then I'm gonna go in with the wet and wild big popper. Y'all know I showed y'all this plenty of times. Big popper, wet and wild. And then that's fair. And then I'm gonna go in with my lashes, which I have them laying out. These are by Kiss. And they're called Halty. But I do have some more lashes here. Um, these are Envious Eyes. And that's the name of them. Those are my sister friend. Um, lashes. This is her little package. Envious Eyes. Um, this is how the package looks. In her package, she has a spoolie. She has a fully the lashes, which they came in this thing, which I'm just going to go ahead and She also has, um, in this package, she has, um, what's it called? Her hair. Not a ribbon. 
um, a hair tie thing, which is gone. But yeah, that, that's what all comes in. One of her baggies, because some of her stuff, she has one of those That's her logo, Envious Eyes. But I'm not going to use those today, because I actually hurt one. I'm trying to get the glue off of there. I'm trying to clean it up. And I'm going to get it. I don't want to do that, sister, because you are my sister. I feel like you got to get something free. I don't want to do that. And then when I went out and bought those kids, uh, lashes, they were sitting right there. And I need some lashes there at that moment, because me and Corey was ready to come out. And I see those. The kids lashes. I'm going to show you how we But anyway, I'm going to put you guys on the cold for a second, and I'm back. What did you guys think? Did I do good? Did I do bad? Yay, nay. I don't know, y'all. I be feeling like I be doing bad. I don't really have the confidence that I should have when it comes down to doing my makeup. I don't have that yet. I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get better at doing my makeup. Excuse me, y'all. I'm trying to get better at doing my makeup. And um, that's why I keep doing these type of videos. Like I said in this video, I do still practice on my PCOS, managing it practicing on losing weight i still do everything that i talked about in my first videos that i started to make but doing makeup for me it has become a hobby it is something that keeps my mind off of food it is it lowers my stress like when i'm having a bad day i just come in here and i do my makeup and i have my music playing and i'm feeling good and then it's helping me learn to better my craft because i want to get better at it like makeup is something that i really really want to do so doing this really helps me and i like the fact that you know you guys are starting to tell me that i'm doing good because i i want to tell you i'll be thinking i'll be doing bad like i really didn't too much care for this look when i got done with it i didn't care for the purple i uh didn't think my blush and stuff came out right and like i said i'll be trying to do the chisel thing and i just think i'll be making it too dark but that's all stuff that I still need to practice on. All stuff that I still go back on other YouTubers and watch them do. Don't think I'm just out here just watching the video one time and doing it. No, I'll practice, practice, practice. And I'll watch a video 101 times if I have to, to get it right. But I just want to get to this stage where I can just start doing my makeup and just be like, okay, you did a good job, girl. You did that. And that's why I keep practicing with this. But... Like I said, if I haven't already said this, don't forget to hit that like button. Thumbs up this video for your girl because I need everything that y'all are giving out to me. Drop a comment down below so your girl will know that you're here and you care. Share this video if you do care. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm telling y'all, it's a happy place here. This is a cool place to be. And y'all gonna get a little bit of me, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. <laughs> just like y'all got this drink. Like I said, I should have recorded me making it, but I just went on. It done became a repetition thing because we make these so much in my job. And this was the easiest drink for me to learn how to make because, like, my first time bartending, all I kept getting was sex on the beach. They was like, that's going to be the first thing you learn how to make is a sex on the beach. And it was. And I see why they're so popular because they are so freaking good. They are really good. Really good drink, you guys. Um, I'll put in the description everything that I put in there if I don't forget I'm sorry for the late upload. I wanted to upload this video earlier today, but I have been running around like crazy. Then I cooked my food and I sat down and I chilled for a little bit. Um, by the way, I made fish and waffle fries and onion rings. Came out amazing. So, yeah, I just had a pretty chill day is what I wanted to do anyway around my birthday. So, yeah. But anyway, let's cut this short because um, I'm at three minutes and almost... 20 some seconds and y'all know i'll be trying not to make long videos and this video already gonna be kind of long because of the makeup but let me give y'all another look at it another close-up and y'all just tell me what y'all think peace out my lovelies and my puss slides peace out my lovely slash beauties and my plus size dolls if i can get my words out i will check you guys in a much not much later but a later video and thank you for rocking with your girl